Hello, I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to apply a background using the Faber-Castell Soft Pastels to go along with my review. I just grabbed one of my old pictures and we'll do a sky background on this one. I use these little cotton pads. You can use either one. This one has nubs, so if you want to use the outside, it puts like more of a streak effect in your picture. But I prefer the soft side. So you hold the pastel in one hand and rub it with the other. That keeps it from smearing all over the pages. The soft pastels don't stick to uh, your colored pencil. So that makes it really easy too. See how easy that's going on? You can just go right over it. Depending on how light or dark you want to make it, you can put it on in multiple layers. But you can see I'm not even being careful and it's not going on the other colors. I've seen a lot of people put it on first, and that is really time consuming. Now this hand's picking up the blue, this hand's still clear, and if you rub it, it's not really coming off because I'm not putting it on really heavy. A lot of people worry about it smearing everywhere. It just depends on your method of putting it on. Some people scrape it with a razor knife and they have to cover a lot of stuff up like the page next to it, things around it because it will, the, the dust, the pastel dust will fly. To me, this makes less of a mess, and I really am not comfortable with inhaling pastel dust. It may be safe, I don't know, but these days I don't take any chances. I'm going to use this round one for the corners. Just because this one has a frame on it, I can get into the little spots a little better when I don't want it to go on the outside area. But you really don't need to worry about that because it erases really easy if you want to keep an area white that managed to get a color on it. When I do something with like um, eyes, where the animals or birds have eyes, I just go over the white, the area I want to keep white with the white pencil. So the white part of their eyes, I just dab a little white pencil over it. And I can go over it with the soft pastel and the eye will stay white. And this is just one application. If you want it darker, you can go over it more than once. You can also go over it with different colors. Like if you wanted to make a sunset, you could go with the yellow, orange, and red. And gradually go from one color to the other. create a, a sundown effect.
And that looks pretty good up, up here in this corner. It does give you the general idea about how easy this is. My granddaughter, she's six years old, she even does it to some of her pictures. And you can see I'm going to go over this green part with the blue. You see that? None of it is picking up on the colored pencil. And that makes it so much easier. Your fingers are blue though, so you have to wash your hands. But you can see, I hope you can see, how easy that was. If you want to make it darker, just go over it a couple more times. I don't put a lot on, so I don't use a spray adhesive or fixative. But you can use the Krylon one. That's the one that is suggested or recommended. So I hope this is helpful to you and helps you decide whether or not you'd like to try Faber-Castell soft pastels. Thank you.